of state travelers will be welcomed back to the island starting August 1st, but they'll have to test negative for COVID-19 before getting on a plane to come here. We have several reports tonight. Max Rodriguez finds out what hotels are doing to prepare to welcome back visitors. Jen Boniza gets reaction from lawmakers and county mayors. And we begin with Manolo Morales, who has more on the state's plan. Manolo? Yeah, in about five weeks, there will be a lot more people going through Hawaii's airports. Now, state officials say the system they're putting in is not perfect. They are expecting a spike in cases. They say the state is ready because the state now has built up its testing and contact tracing capabilities. Which gives us confidence that with an increase in the number of COVID cases, our health care system will not become overwhelmed as it has been in so many communities all across the United States. This is not a silver bullet, but it is another part of the multi-layered system the Department of Health has come up with to complement comprehensive tracing capacity, very important, to complement screening people for temperatures and the thermal screening, very important, and to be able to trace people constantly. That will make the difference. Green says CVS will be providing the testing. It has 1,400 locations nationwide. The company has agreed to do the testing for those who do not have any symptoms. Green says other companies will also be contracted. The cost of the test has not been determined, but travelers will have to pay for them out of pocket because health insurance does not cover it. By having that large partner, they have a large database, we will have a fee applied, and we can access legitimized information. As for Hawaii residents who go to the mainland for just a few days, Green says those protocols are still being worked out. If residents are gone for a week, they will still have to get tested three days before coming back. But if they're gone three or four days, they might have to get tested after they come home and lay low until the results come back. The governor says the state is also working on arranging a travel bubble with other countries with low infection rates like Japan and South Korea. Green adds that officials expect most of the passengers will get tested before coming here, so there won't be a lot of people who will have to go under quarantine. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.